Hey y'all, in today's video, we're gonna use three new products. I'm gonna do a wash and go today. So I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Grapeseed and Tea Tree Oils, Low Porosity, Weightless Hydrating Shampoo with Sunflower Oil. And I'm gonna be using the conditioner. And I'm so excited y'all to be using the Superfoods Avocado Mega Moisture Hair Mask by Briagio. I deep condition with every wash that I do and I, I shampoo my hair every week. So. so first we have to start by getting all of the product out of your hair. So you want to drench your hair very well before you even begin to shampoo. And then once you start shampooing, you want to make sure you get to your scalp. Your scalp really, really needs that shampoo, it needs the nourishing, you need to have a clean scalp. Also, as far as your hair, you can bring it down to your hair. Of course, I don't have long hair, so eventually my hair is covered with shampoo. So it doesn't, it's gonna have shampoo all over it. Right here, I do apologize, y'all. It got a little cloudy right here. I'm not sure why, maybe the camera was too close because the water was not the coldest. But then we did go ahead and shampoo that out. And then I did go in with the conditioner, that Shea Moisture Conditioner. And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, I really didn't care for it because the slip was horrible. The slip was horrible also in the shampoo. So I'm really, really grateful for the Bri Briagio, which is that superfood that I paid so much money for. <laughs> I'm really grateful for it because of the fact that I came behind that to put that on my hair and it just pretty much made up for all of the no slip, the non-slip that the shampoo and the conditioner had that I put in prior to. I do shampoo my hair twice y'all and I always deep condition every shampoo. And like I said, I do try to shampoo once a week. So I normally go seven days I go six days very seldom, but normally it's seven days. So I just try to shampoo my hair on Sundays. And there's nothing like a deep conditioning. Well, Y'all, I did go ahead and rinse out the Briagio Superfood. That's, that's amazing. It is amazing. My hair feels so good. And it smells so good. Like, that was an experience, y'all. Oh my goodness. I know it's pricey. I mean, $39, that's expensive. So I really can't blame y'all for not wanting to pay that. I didn't want to pay it either. But I just wanted to try it so bad. And is it worth it? In my book, it is. I mean, look at the curls. I mean, look, all I did was rinse it out. My hair is so soft and it feels so hydrated. We're gonna go ahead and style it now. So what I'm gonna use to style my hair, I've used this before, but I didn't show y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all this time. So what we're gonna be using today is the Mayel Pomegranate Leave-In Conditioner. I love it. And also we're gonna be using the Mayel Pomegranate Honey Coil Custard, Coil Sculpting, Sculpting Custard. Of course, we're gonna use some almond oil. Make sure you have your water bottle. So I'm gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner by Myel, and I'm also gonna use my Denman brush to go ahead and rake that conditioner through so it can get all the way through and get on all the strands. Just a fool so wrong for loving you, but you forgot 
that I'm a shooter, think I'll take five shots. One for the day that I learned, I Two for the bridges you burned, I Three for the chances you had, and four for the bitches you bagged, and five for never being sad, no. One for the trauma you caused, I Two for the number of draws, I Three for the promises made, and four for the way that you break them. Five shots won't take no more. Five shots won't take no So y'all, I am really enjoying the shingling method. I love it so much. And actually, I'm doing this voiceover. It's Wednesday. And I did my hair on Sunday. And it's still holding up. The curls are still popping, y'all. So I really, really, really do like this method. Even though it's time consuming, I like it. Right when I usually would have rolled out I know you're grateful that I stayed down We need a pass in the past, that's all done now Glad that we stayed down We gon' pull up in a web, start a new trend Every inch of our skin is the blueprint Follow the lines They act like they forget Let's remind them, be my right Break us up. Oh, God, they can only try to keep 
Okay, so y'all, we're done. This side actually is starting to dry. You see how it's puffing out a little bit? I'm loving the fact that it's not looking frizzy. Oh my goodness, y'all. It really looks great. I love it a lot. So I actually just went in with the Mael Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. I actually did not add any gel to it, y'all. So I don't know, y'all know I'm used to crunch, but we're gonna see how it turns out. So of course, y'all know I always let it air dry. So I will see y'all back once it finished drying so we can go ahead and style it. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. Of course, it's all dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the bonnet off. See how flat it is, y'all? <laughs> it's flat, but the curls are still looking nice. Yeah, so let's go ahead and fluff these curls out. Let me put some oil on my hand. And my, uh, the okay, that's much better I can see now. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I was thinking when it comes down to, when it comes down to getting on this camera without my glasses because y'all, I really cannot see. My eyes are bad, they're bad. I gotta stop, um, I'm trying to learn y'all to not be so rough with my hair. It's a process though. It's really a process because I'm just so, my sister always told me that, you know, because my sister and I are two and a half years apart and my mom sometimes would have me do her hair and she's like, you've always been so rough and she's super tender headed. I'm the total opposite y'all, I'm not tender headed at all. It don't bother me, but she's very, very tender headed. So because she's tender headed, she's like, oh, she hated me. Hated when I mess with her hair. It's like, you're so rough. And then her son, oh my goodness. Y'all know, cause I have a 13 year old nephew. And honey, when I tell y'all, girl, he is super tender headed. So his mom, it's a it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, y'all. When my sister has to do his hair. I'm gonna try to maybe take these apart a little bit. I guess this is what I should be doing. You know, but I don't want to mess up my curls. They're a little crunchy, believe it or not, y'all. From that custard, that Mayel custard. I normally put gel on my hair as well. But this is looking really, really cute, defined, and juicy, y'all. I am loving these curls. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it because I don't want, I want this to last. Now, I don't know how it's looking in the back, y'all, because I can't see the back. Y'all can see it better than I can. So I have to get the mirror so I can look. But yeah, this is how we're looking. So I just put the oil on my hand. I don't want to part. I know I did it like that, but I don't want to part. I want to just bring it forward. So look at the body, y'all. <laughs> I get so excited, y'all. I am loving this hair journey. I really am. I hope y'all enjoying it. But I am loving it. It's just making me be so much more mindful and dedicated to my hair. I mean, our hair is our crown, y'all. So we just have to take care of it and nourish it. And it'll take care of us. You know? I don't know what I'm gonna do about this part here. So I'll be back. Let me do a little bit more off camera so I can see the back. And I'll come back to show y'all the finishing touch. Okay, so y'all, here's the finishing touch. Yes, I did fluff it a little bit with my hands and just pulled it out a little bit and I went in with my pick. Y'all see how defined those curls are? Thank y'all so much for watching. I definitely do hope that you enjoyed today's video. You enjoy your week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Bye.